What's up, guys? Welcome to Vibe Tones Podcast. My name is Ifan Prosper, aka Richan Awan, at all social media platforms. Today, we have an interesting topic choking that we shake the ground. As you all know, we like to shake the environment. But before I actually head into the topic, I have interesting guests today. I have faces which have been in our previous episodes. I have new faces with me today. And I would like to introduce them. By my right, we have Miss. Hi guys, I'm Zena on IG Zinzia on the school once here. I'm, I'm an IT student and yeah, a new tech, by the way. Hi guys, I'm Tanya, I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm a physiotherapy student and on IG I'm calling me Tanya and I bake cakes. I'm still starting. That's what I do for now, and I'm a part-time student. Hi guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a server security, so, you know, I'm a video analyst, and I'm a security plus certified, and I'm just here to share my views on these interesting topics, and I'm so happy to be here. Alright guys, you guys have heard it from my interesting guest from the right. I would like to also introduce my guest from the left. These are very intellectual individuals with interesting personalities. I say this all episode, but this is serious. This is real. So bringing it back to my left, I have Miss Diva. Okay, my name is Diva, Miss Doreen, or you can call me Miss Diva in my IG. Um, I'm an aviator student in Kyrenia, and I'm so glad that I'm here to discuss some interesting topics with my all right, my name is Honibi. I'm a civil engineer and master's student in business administration. I'm, a, I'm an artist, I'm a keyboardist, I'm a painter, I'm, I'm quite creative in my own regard, and I'm also excited to be part of this amazing team. All right, guys, you guys have heard it from my interesting guest. We'll dive in deep into the topic of discussion. About today's episode, which is the act of creativity and cultivating a creative mind. This is a very interesting and intellectual topic, and I would like to hear from my guests because they have a very relatable perspective. I will start from the butcher of vibe tones, Mr. Honeybee. Mr. Honeybee, are you there with us? I'm here. Tell us one or two of your perspective on the act of creativity. How can one cultivate a creative mind? There is nothing like hard work. Again, that's me countering what I just said. There is only passion. When you have passion, passion begins where your hard work fails. You know, if you're passionate about something, you can work hard, but if there's no passion for that thing, you would um, you would give up along the way because disappointments or failures will come along the way. So. Back to creativity. Creativity, I would put it in context. Um, a lot of people have stereotyped creativity to be, oh, you have to be an artist or a singer or something. But I think creativity, um, it's, it's, it spreads across all aspects of our lives. How, how do you make your bed? That's creativity. How do you match your clothes together? That's creativity. And then we go to your kitchen. How do you set up your pantry? That's also creativity. So creativity is a relative word and it's not limited to art and science and all of that. Everyone is born creative and it's about um, necessity is the mother of invention. So when you have limited resources or limited space, how are you able to set it up? That's creativity. You know? So creativity is, we shouldn't stereotype creativity to just the arts, the science and all of that. That's my two cents on creativity. That is a wonderful two cents. In fact, I would say that is a dollar. You understand, Mr. Honeybee has actually touched a very crucial point because now to this generation, when one hears about creativity, how to cultivate a creative mind, instinctively what comes to the mind is being an artist, which is really not the, the main uh, point of being a creative person. Creativity can be from different angles, like he mentioned, how you set up your kitchen, how you dress, how you portray yourself, 
the imaginations you have in your head and how you bring it to reality. These, these are the main factors of creativity. I would like to take it back to our newest guest, but his guest is not the grief African. His name is Mr. Farouk. Creativity is not just something that is genetic. Just as like my brother said. Yes. It's not just one specific field that you have to be in, like being in science or being in music or something like that. If you are a graphic designer today, you are a creative person. Because That's true. You bring your imagination into reality. That's true. And that is one biggest part of creativity. I agree you know? with that. And you know, since in this life we are conditioned to use, you are born with nothing, you learn to adapt everything, you learn to get everything. You strive so hard to win, you know. So your ability of being able to unlock that condition of losing to become a winner, how you do it, how you put it, which steps do you take, what kind of um, aspect do you choose, how do you find your niche, all those things are part of creativity. You have to be creative to be able to pull up those kind of things. And studies show that only 22% of people, only 22%, that are their creativity is genetic, you know. So almost everyone has this creativity inside them. The only thing is, how do you make it possible? How do you work? How do you build it? How, which kind of experience do you try to gain for you? What kind of parts do you explore to be able to make that creativity to reality to come to reality? How do you bring your imagination into reality? You know, so yeah, that's my aspect on creativity, and I would like to hear Ari's point on this. <laughs> well, instinctively, I was trying to direct it to our buddy, Princess of Africa. Please, I'm classic. Miss Ari, <laughs> she says she's classic. Give us a very classic perspective on uh, the art of creativity and cultivating a creative mind, as I would say, with your appearance, you. You're a creative person. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Well, um, there's no much for me to say, honestly, because the gurus, the genius here, have literally <laughs> said everything. <laughs> so yeah, um, as we all know, creativity is a mixture of um, both nature and nurture. Yeah, and um, while some people have this natural inclination, some people have to like learn i mean cultivate the habit of being creative and some people just like have the knack for creative thinking but that's just like the starting point anyways because at the long run you still have to like um learn practice and you know learn new things and just sharpen your your talent yeah exactly so like that's what i can say for now you guys have heard it from Miss Arike. She touched a very crucial point. And, uh, it's very relatable if you pay attention. I would like to bring it back to Miss Diva, our newest guest on this episode, on this panel. Miss Diva. Yes. Miss Diva, you need to be shaking your skin. Oh, you need to be shaking your That's body. Okay. You need to be shaking your skin. You need to be okay. shaking your body. So, Miss Diva. Mm-hmm. Give us something to take home on creativity. Creativity is like generating imaginations yeah. to new ideas. Yeah. As the you people said earlier, for instance, like you like you having creativity, like you like a cameraman. If you're not exposed to like instruments, like cameras, you like you cannot generate the like, like your imaginations to be like the ideas. You understand? Yeah. Well, that is a very soft touch. As she said that for you to be a creative person, I need to actually put practice into creativity. Mr. Farouk actually touched a very interesting point that everybody is actually creative. You have to explore your potentials and the creativity which you're born with, or which you, you have a passion about, or which you're into. So creativity is not all about a word or a talent. There needs to be work, discipline, you need to dedicate yourself into bringing your creativity, your imagination into reality. I would like to hear from Ms. Zain, her own perspective on the 
the act of creativity and cultivating the creative mind. Ms. Lane, yeah. tell us something. Um, for me, I think creativity is um, a possibility yeah. wherein you'll be able to like be in a posi position to like solve a problem. Yeah. Like I made mention earlier of in the introduction, yes. like I made mention earlier of me being a new artist. So that's me being creative. And I believe each and everyone here and out there have passion or what they can what they have passion about to like put it in a practice. In a practice, yeah. yeah. And being creative out there. So I think that's my that's my two cents of <laughs> well, that is actually a brief and a key point for most. Like we have been saying, creativity still dwells back to being a disciplined person, being someone of a, a pursuit, someone who has something in mind and wants that to come to reality. Putting practice into whatever passion you have, it is a very big and formal way for you to bring your creativity to reality. I would like to head in into the sub questions under creativity. And one of those sub questions says, Is creativity learned? Let me elaborate on that. Is creativity inbuilt? Is it a genetic something? Does it come with one instinctively? Are you born with it? Or is it learned? Well, I should say that I get your point. Yeah. Oh, I can say it's born, you know? There are some people which their creativity is inbuilt, like it's true genetics. But those people are very few, you know. Yeah. And there are people who a lot, mostly everyone, explore, experience, and then um, gradually find their creativity, That's you know. True. And if you don't explore, there is no way you will find that. So it's both. And just as I said during the introduction. Only 22% of people that their creativity is genetic. But almost everyone has this inner genius inside them. The only thing is that it's taking the steps. Which is, as we said in the topic, there is environmental effect, right? Of course. And that environmental effect is the thing that either hinder you from going for those things or push you forward or motivate you. You know, so it all depends on your environment. Which kind of cycle do you have? How do you get reward for being creative? How is your creativity rewarded? If it is like in a negative part, then you got attacked by fear and anxieties and all negative kind of self thoughts and self doubt, and then you started feeling like, oh, even if I do this, it's not gonna work. Or even if I do this, maybe it doesn't even matter. Nobody will even notice. But if you are being rewarded, you are being rewarded and you feel like go for it, it's gonna work out for you. It makes sense. Try it. You have nothing to lose. That mindset of having nothing to lose sometimes is really important. Knowing that you come to this world with nothing and you're gonna live with nothing. Of course. You know, I'm not saying you have to live as if you have nothing to lose. That's dangerous. But you have to have this little bit of mindset inside your life. Even if it didn't work, or even if it doesn't work out. I didn't lose anything. I just try, and you know, I just to find out. And sometimes you will see. Most time you try, you will see that oh, this is what I am born for. This is what I meant to be doing. This yes. is my purpose. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I think I get what you are saying. So due to the topic that you brought, either it is um, imminent, innate, either it, it is innate or learn. or learn. Yes. It's for both. Like you can be. You know, be born with it. Maybe sometimes, since as a kid, there are these things you love to be doing. Maybe drawing stuff, and, yeah. you know, bringing your imagination into reality. Yeah. That is genetics. Or as you growing up, your parents or people around you try to figure out what are you good at. When they are taking you to school, they choose, oh, this guy, this my child, I think he's good at this. He's good at playing football. Let me take him to the football academy. He's good at playing tennis. Let me take him to tennis academy. You see, there they try to motivate you and to push you forward into being creative, into sharpening your talent and bringing your imagination into reality. That's, that's a very nice one. Very, a very broad one, if I may say. Almost 
Mr. Farouk almost touched all the angles on creativity. Yes, <laughs> yes, that does not mean that we don't have our. Even if Mr. Farouk actually gave us more than two cents, Mr. Farouk concludes by saying that creativity is actually learned. There's people who are born with the creative mind, there's people who don't have the skill, and the the, the, the fights to get the skill, the, the discipline themselves to discover their creative side of themselves and they bring it to reality. You understand? I will take it back to Miss Tanya. I want to hear her own perspective on uh, if creativity is actually learned, what do you think on that? Do you think one is actually born a creative person? Do you think most people just wake up and decide, you know what, I'm going to pursue this and become a creative person? I think everyone is born with it. Really? But you have just not figured it out like what exactly you haven't exposed being you are not yet exposed to what you know the creativity that you have. So everyone has it but it takes time yes. for you to get exposed, for you to know yeah. the thing that you're creative in. So I can I think I will support you. You say it's both. You can learn it later. You can just be born with it, so yeah. That's a very nice one, a very spectacular view, and this still correlates with what we have been saying so far. Excuse me, this still correlates with what we have been saying so far. I would like to hear from Zain on the sub question if creativity is imminent <laughs> or learned. Miss Zain, yeah. what do you think? Well, I think it's both ways. Yeah. So, like, me bringing it back to myself, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. I'm a nail tech. Mm -hmm. I never envisioned myself being a nail, te uh, nail technician, mm -hmm. but then I actually fall in love with the with the creativity part, the art, the art, yeah. yeah. So and I now try to like pursue my passion, what I have interest in, and make it a reality. A reality. So I think it's both ways actually. I love it. I love it. Well, you guys have also heard it. Creativity is learned. Bringing it back to our honorable butcher, the butcher of items, <laughs> Mr. Butch. <laughs> Tell us. Butch. <laughs> That's your new name, Mr. Butch. <laughs> Tell us something on, on the uh, question, which says if creativity is actually imminent, is it imbued something? Or is it something that one actually explore and discover by themselves? Tell us something on that. Okay, I'll start by saying it's all about what we can all relate to, alright? Yes. All of us, in one way or the other, we've dropped our phones yeah, before. And then maybe we spoiled our phones when it fell. Because people are more susceptible to relate to failure than success. That is true. And I'm going to juxtapose this to the story of Messi and Ronaldo. I'm sorry to say this. Messi is a born talent. Yeah. But people love Ronaldo more because people can relate to the struggle. He had to work hard to get to that height. That is true. So people, uh, we need to understand that, yes, it can be a talent. It takes me back to what I said before. Mm -hmm. It's passion. Yes. Messi doesn't need to go to the gym to do too much, but Ronaldo shows you that and everyone can actually relate to a success story that is born out of the struggle. That is yeah. true. Because Not it's more like a living idol. Exactly, like if, yeah. you, if you work on it, you will get yeah. it. Yeah. It shows you that hard work pays. You know? yes. So uh, as much as, um, yeah, I'm an artist, but I'll tell you with my own story, as much as I'm an artist, I have to take a loan from my mother. Yes, I have to take a loan to buy some um, canvases. And my mother said, they're going to pay me back this money. If, if she just gave it to me and said, okay, go play with it. Because there was some sense of responsibility, I now realize that drawing was no longer free. Because I took a loan. That is true. So yes, as much as I love the passion of painting, then when people say, hey, when you you paint so good, I'm like, hey, you paint me because I have a debt to pay. Yes. And that's me putting value on my talents, and that makes me work harder. I love it. He's called a butcher of items for a reason. <laughs> literally, oh God, someone said we like saying literally, but then anyways, literally. It's literally. <laughs> Everything li Everything in this life is actually literally. literally. Yeah. yeah. I've already said it before, like, creativity is a mix of both nature and nurture. So, 
it's more like I've already said it before and it's more like where you're trying to um, um, think of it like you're trying to work on a muscle you're trying to work on a muscle to get big so you need to keep working out if if I mean you can be slim and you be like oh yeah I want to get more that. So you start going to the gym, trying to work hard and trying to make your muscles come out and everything. So that's like you trying to, you um, cultivating the habit of going to the gym and working out and trying to get the desired results you want. And it's not everyone that is born with um, a talent. Some people are not born with a talent and some people just like um, have the desire to learn. And there's some people um, who, who are like, they don't even like some people might actually like know oh am I might I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be this creative person when I get to this stage some people never like thought about it some people never be like oh I'm going to start drawing or I'm going to start singing some people never had the talent it's people around them like when they maybe they have a role model that is doing good and what they like be like oh I want to be like this person they pursue that um that part and they tend to walk towards it and try to if even if they didn't reach the person they can like at least be as good as the person as far as they're sharpening their um their create their skills so I yeah it. i love it so bringing it back to miss diva you guys remember diva <laughs> <laughs> bringing it to miss diva miss diva tell us something about creativity is it in beauty? is it something that one can actually learn on to my side, I think like creativity, like creativity, it can be like you just wake up out of nowhere and like pursue like the ideas. On to my side, for my side, I think you have to learn it first and give it some efforts and etc. You understand? For instance, Ms. Zaina Bia, she said like she's an L technician. You understand? So like she had a passion. She didn't just wake up out of nowhere. And she starts doing nails, understand? Yeah. She had to do practices, like make people nails. I know she failed sometimes at the first practices, Definitely. but at least she, she did like she did like more efforts. And like right now she's a pro, you understand? Yeah. So on to my side. I don't think so. It's like inmates, something like that. Yes. Inmates, it's not inmates. Yeah. Yeah. They believe but it's more learned. Yeah, it's more learned. And also at first, you also say like I don't know something about Messi and Ronaldo. Mm. Messi is um you said like he's um like he's, a wizard. Yes. He knows ball, you understand. But Ronaldo more like he know more like it, yeah. 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 he kept yeah. more effort. Yeah. So he's more guru than the other Messi, you understand? So, we didn't say that, I didn't say that. On to my it's, Messi. it's an argument because <laughs> I understand. This is this I'm argument not a fan of Messi more than Ronaldo, Ronaldo, but I know Ronaldo is more than Messi. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm a fan of Messi, okay, yeah. but I know Ronaldo is more than Messi. And that's because, diva, 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 you know, diva, diva. Wait, that, um, yes. I had something that's like fair. Messi is good with scoring with his left leg, but Ronaldo knew that, and he also like he can play, he can score a goal with his right and his left. So like that makes him very very good because it it cultivated the habit to that's actually true. be that good. That is true. Ronaldo is a machine that can do that. He can score with his head, leg, back. <laughs> In fact, you know, some people are really good at like bomb. me. I'm, I'm, I'm good with scoring you know, with my what legs. What she's saying really makes right. sense. You know, if you don't know your niche, your your purpose, definitely there is no way you can do anything. So um, you cannot just wake up. Sorry, I didn't. No problem. You know, yeah. Like you cannot just wake up and just started just going doing you know stuff that you don't even have no idea how to go. For. You have to have that thing in your head. Like I think I'm gonna try this, even if you don't know about it. Like I want to try this to see how it is. You know, this so, is yeah. this is off on top of my head. I just want to throw in this question here because yes, we are saying that creativity can be learned, but there's a situation whereby some people they don't actually know what they are good at. Yeah. How does such people actually discover what they are good at? How does a person? Yeah, yeah. the butcher you can butcher this. Yeah. Now there's a saying. Yeah, a jack of all trades. It's a master the of no But that's not the end. Yes. The end of the saying says a jack of all trade and a master of none is better than a jack of no trade. Yes. So it's good to try. You need to try. For example, I'm, I I take you back to my high school. A lot of people were like, 
In fact, when we were leaving the university, people were like, oh, your life is made. I was actually confused because I was an, a civil engineer. But I was also good with music, piano, singing, and painting. So that was confusion to me. And then where did I end up? In business. Because I am trying everything. And I now realize I have to put... So it's about, yes, you have to try. If you don't try, yes, you can say you're a baker, you can say you're a new tech. But you, as a new tech, you can even expand this new tech to something bigger. That is true. That relates to it. Love it. You as a model, you can expand this modeling thing to maybe a face model or a runway model. You as a cyber security man, you can swap it to I something else. I part of modeling. Instead of doing cyber security, you can now create a firewall or something That's with true. your knowledge. So everyone needs to understand that you have to yeah. diversify that is true. yourself. Yes, but don't forget, even at the diversity you're talking about, it has to be aligned with what you are good at. Do you what if you're good at many things? That's I mean, the problem. I get some, some people actually. You know, actually do you know a wandering mind? A wandering mind is an unhappy mind. No. You understand? I no. I don't agree. I don't know. Bro, no. when you when you try to multitask, you always end up stopping on you your task this. halfway mm-hmm. without completing it and jumping. To you start it. I'm not saying it's wrong, span. but it's more preparable. Can you be listening to music? And cooking at the same time. Yes, is that's not what I get you, but it's the same thing, that bro. is not something you are doing. No, this is just no, like so listening. listening. There is no way you understand the music word to word. I will, no. like me. When I study, I can listen to music like loud trap is, music. That is and I, if you ask me anything about that thing I'm reading, I swear I will tell you word for word. <laughs> that's me. I understand myself. Okay, yeah, for so you, you might like to read in a very quiet place. That's so it's about understanding yourself. Different, you know, yeah. and everyone is different. You can like what you can do. Not everybody can do it. Yeah, understand. understand yourself. But mostly, 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 multitasking delay you rather than. You know, I agree. 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 I
then you have to focus for it. They understand. Oh, yeah. But when you leave the state of looking for your purpose, you maybe it took you a year before you figure out what you got. When I was doing my BSc, I was focusing on web designing and application development, right? But after I graduated, during my graduation, I wasn't even happy because I don't know what is next. I was so anxious, I was so confused, and I feel stuck. Even though I have something in my hand, but looking for something else that I feel like at least will be more profitable, right? When I get to figure out cyber security and I get to understand that the way I understand systems and the way I understand how all these things work, the way I can analyze before even learning and all those things, it's another thing that will be more good for me. Then it's not like I left the development side. The only thing I do is to look for another programming language that will align with this cyber security field that I'm interested in and just started learning it. You understand? You see, all those things, they align because I already left the state of looking for my purpose. I already find out what I want. Um, managing social media, I know I'm good at it, but I still want to learn more about it. And also writing stories, I know I'm good at it, but I still feel like there are some people out there that are like better than me, and I really want to like get to that stage. So like, I'm still trying to learn more so I can like sharpen my creative side. I love exactly, it. Yeah. I love it. Well, I would like to actually summarize this particular question. What we gave here is more than is more than two hundred in what conversation. So, I will we'll move on to the next question below that, which says if creativity, what role does environment play in creativity?